guys welcome back to the channel uh, this is going to be part two of restoring all the nuts and bolts and everything i need to put this engine bay back together uh, you may remember the last time i was basically stripping uh, the different hardware pieces so now it's going to be uh, one of the ways we can finish uh, the hardware we're going to be working on these bolts here which are for the struts so uh, let's check it out Alright, so when we were stripping these bolts, here's one in its original condition that I took off the car. You see it's rusty, dirty, it's maybe paint or black phosphate or what, I don't know what the coating is exactly. But they're in pretty rough shape. So, and you may recall from last time, you can go back and check that video out, I'll have a link down below. But basically I just used murat muratic acid and distilled, bake, uh, distilled water and baking soda to rinse and that's it, it's really pretty easy. So that's what I've done with these two bolts. They've been stripped completely in the muratic acid and they've sat here for about a week and gotten a good bit of rust on them. This one I stripped and I brushed it with uh, just this brass brush here. So you can see it's got a little bit of a different color to it, kind of golden, but it still has a good layer of rust. So what we're going to do is hit these with a wire wheel and then uh, as well as the nuts here for the black oxide coating and that's what we're doing today is black oxide. Black, black oxide is from Caswell, that's the bottle there and it's just mixed 8 to 1. So I got 8 parts water, 1 part black oxide and it's just a, a slight hint of blue there. You can't even tell. It looks like water almost. Uh, so we're going to dip it in there for about three minutes. We're going to dip it in a rinse and then spray it with distilled water. And then we're going to put a sealer on it. Use this uh, dry finish sealer from Caswell, which looks like this. And it will leave a, uh, a dry finish, not an oily finish. All right, so let me uh, put some water here in this tub. It's not full yet. And we'll go ahead and hit these with the uh, wire brush. Long story short, ended up uh, doing the black oxide on both bolts, both nuts, did the sealer, and I did not like how they turned out. So I put these back in muratic acid for about half an hour, stripped all everything off that I did, and then I just came off the uh, wire wheel again. So I've already done one set, and they look good, so this is the other set. You can see how nice it looks here off the wire wheel so first thing I'm going to do is uh, spray these with some uh, super clean degreaser and uh, just make sure they're clean and have no oil or grease anything on them I've been wearing my gloves the whole time but you never know what stuff around the uh, garage here all right so before I go too far I'm gonna go ahead and uh, string these up some fishing line just so they're easier to handle going in and out of the black oxide and the sealer. If I was doing an oil type sealer I probably wouldn't need to do this but with the sealer I'm using uh, it's 
best not to handle it after you dip it. The other benefit to stringing these up is so when you're done with that sealer, you can easily hang these to uh, cure completely. So I'm gonna let them sit overnight actually after I'm done. Let's go hit these with some degreaser. Now I'm actually going to spray these with some distilled water. Let's get all the residue off and any of the uh, contaminants from the water uh, from the hose I was just using. Since you're going to be using something that reacts with metal, definitely don't want any contaminants on here. All right now this is ready to go ahead and drop into my black oxide here. You should be able to see that turn black right away. I'm gonna let that sit for about three minutes. Three minutes later. Okay, it's been about three minutes, maybe three and a half. I'm just gonna pull those out. I'm gonna dip them right in the distilled water here. dunks there that's good and I'm gonna spray these with uh, distilled water just to make sure all of that extra blackening residue is off of there right. now I'm just going to put these on my towel and I'm just going to kind of gently dry them off Okay, so I can definitely tell it's darker, but it doesn't seem as black as the ones I did earlier. So I'm gonna drop this back in for another another coating. Let's see if we can get this blacker. Three more minutes. All right, so I did another dip. It came out a little bit darker. It's not completely black, but we're getting there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my sealer. The sealer, I'm not gonna leave it in that long, just maybe uh, 15, 20 seconds, move it around a little bit, because there's some air bubbles on there. So I'm gonna make sure I get all those air bubbles off. So I don't want to handle these too much. I'm going to grab this bolt by the thread to kind of turn it sideways just to get some of that excess sealer off. And now I'm going to use my dryer, just some warm air to put on here. Using the dryer just helps uh, blow off some of the excess sealer and keeps it from kind of drying in a uh, big clump. Let's go here in the lights if this helps. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It's hard to tell it's black out here, but it is black. Let's get in here.
I'm just gonna have to let this dry and I'll get some good before and after shots compared to the other bullets. So as you can see, I've got my other ones hanging here. Just gonna hang these right here. These definitely look better than the last ones I did. There's one I did earlier. There's the one we did just now. And I think some of the, uh, kind of see that weird markings there. That's from the sealer. I think some of that may go away after it sits uh, for 24 hours. Now it's supposed to be completely dry enough to touch and use and handle after like 10 minutes. But uh, I'm just gonna take an extra precaution. This is the one I did probably about an hour ago. It does look to be a little bit smoother as far as the coating on there. All right, that's it. I'm gonna let these sit here for a little while and then I'll uh, throw some before and after shots. And that is it, black oxide. And uh, like I said before, if you mess up, it doesn't look right. You know, there's different types of steel that uh, will turn easier than others. Some you have to, uh, you know, dip for, you know, maybe five or 10 minutes or dip and dry and dip again. So you just kind of have to use some trial and error. And, uh, you know, you can get it. If it messes up, you just re-dip it in muriatic acid, let it sit for half an hour, and then start the process over again. So it's not like you're gonna mess anything up. And when you're starting from rusted bolts, you really can't do any harm. So that is it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe so you can catch my other videos coming up. My next one's gonna be uh, the blue chromate. And uh, that's it, we'll see you next time. See ya.